Hey everyone, it's Spook. It's Friday, October 26th, and I am home in San Diego, which is great because uh, I've been on the road quite a bit. So it's nice to be home. We have uh, a gorgeous end of October Friday today, so uh, I'm going to try to get through this video really quick and go enjoy myself as I get to be home today um, and work from home. Anyways, exactly two months ago on August 26th, I posted a video that was uh, called 10 years on and we haven't learned anything. And uh, at the time I was basically saying that based on what I was seeing in the market and the economy overall and the sentiments that people were expressing, I was uh, really worried. And I've been worried for a while, um, pretty much since the beginning of the year. Um, there was just a, a weird feeling that we're getting this sense of deja vu where people were just really optimistic and um, thinking that this run that we've been having, which has been great, was going to continue forever. And it made me feel a bit queasy. So, you know, starting earlier this year, I started to take some profits and um, moved into cash. So. I'm currently sitting uh, at a portfolio allocation of about 30% cash and the rest in equities. Um, and I think that that has helped me. And since that last video two months ago, uh, it looks like both the S&P 500 and the Dow are down about eight and a half, nine percent for the year. The NASDAQ is just barely in positive territory. And um, looking at what has been happening in the last two months, I think that this is just the beginning. Um, myself personally, what I would do is just kind of sit on the sidelines until I see like a 20 to 30 uh, percent pullback from the current highs and then I will probably move back in. It's tough to say that that would cause me to uh, go all in again on the market, but um, that's what I'm feeling. So I think that, you know, at 9 percent down from the high. Um, I still think that we have a ways to go and there's a couple of reasons for that, um, you know, based on my thinking and, and who the hell knows if I'm right or not, but uh, this move to a big cash position this year has certainly helped me out. So my, my thinking is, is uh, along these lines. Um, I think that what we're seeing with the trade war is still being resolved. It's just the beginning. It's not going to uh, uh, solve itself anytime soon. So that is going to be a big drag on uh, businesses and uh, their planning. Um, the rapid rise in interest rates, I think that it caught, it caught a lot of people by surprise. They knew that it was going to go up, they just didn't think it was going to happen so quickly. Um, and that still has yet to be played out, so that's definitely another factor. Um, I think that any benefit from the corporate tax cut that happened uh, under Trump is uh, running out of steam and any profit that was uh, coming in as a result of that has run its course. So I don't think that that's going to be a positive effect going forward. Um, and lastly, in recent months, the, the US dollar has uh, strengthened a lot compared to other foreign currencies like the euro or the yen or what have you. And uh, that's going to have a uh, pretty big impact on corporate earnings. So while at the beginning of the year in 2018, earnings was pretty good, um, there are warning signs from, from companies when they give their earnings report. And I think that for the rest of the year and going into next year, depending on how strong the US dollar remains compared to these other currency, that can really put a crimp on, uh, on earnings, which you know, will affect everything else. So when you look at all of these big factors and you add them up, I think that you know, we, we are overvalued. Um, but the problem is that the market had not behaved that way for the last couple of months. It's only been in recent weeks that uh, you're seeing some of this pullback. Um, but the bottom line for me is that I don't think this is the end of it. I think that we may be in for some ups and some downs again, but mostly, you know, downwards. So if we're, we're going to go up 5%, you know, we're going to go down 10. Um, so I'm expecting that there will be some, some further pullback here. 
like I said, you know, who knows how much, um, but that's what I'm feeling. And you know, the weird thing for me in all of this is that there's a side of me that says, this is market timing. I mean, there's no doubt about it that what I'm doing purely based on a feeling is uh, not what I would counsel folks to do. Um, you know, the only reason that I'm doing it is that I think that I give it a lot of thought and do a lot of research, and I feel comfortable with my decision, um, for better or for worse, that I am making a market timing decision here. Uh, and I'm sharing with everybody my thoughts on why I'm doing it, but if I were to advise anybody, I would still tell them that they should be fully invested, like all the time. Um, that's because, you know, my assumption is that most folks are not going to put in the legwork to read the news, to read the statistics in the economy, and to give some of these things some thought and say, well, how is it all going to play together and uh, what's going to come out of it? And if you're not willing to do that legwork, then the best thing for you to do is to remain fully invested all the time because you don't want to miss out on anything and uh, time the market without any forethought to why you're doing it. Um, so anyways, you know, there's, there's a bit of that that goes against, you know, what I think I should do and, and, and all of that, but uh, I don't know why. I'm, I'm getting nervous. Uh, I've been nervous for the, for the past year, and uh, I think that we're in for, for a rough couple of, uh, couple of quarters here. Hopefully no more than that, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, anyways, that's it for this update. I'm sorry that the air conditioning kicked on um, halfway through here, but hopefully you can still hear me fine. Um, that's all I got. See you next time.